During thoracocentesis, it's important to avoid passing the needle immediately below the rib to avoid damage to which of the following intercostal structures. Let's draw a section in a rib. So in the typical rib, this will be the upper border of the rib. It's blunt. The lower border is a little bit sharp and is characterized by the presence of a coastal groove. This is the external surface and here is the internal surface. And related to the coastal groove, which is related to the lower border of the rib, is the intercostal neurovascular bundle. The intercostal neurovascular bundle is formed by three structures, neurovascular structures, by an intercostal vein, which is located above, intercostal artery, which is located below the vein, and the lowermost structure is the intercostal nerve. So we have a vein, artery, and nerve, a van from above downwards. In thoracocentesis, it is usually advisable to avoid this neurovascular bundle. So the needle should not be inserted immediately below the rib. The needle should be inserted a little bit down, but at the same time, the needle should not be closely related to the upper border of the rib below, because the upper border of the rib below will contain the collateral branches of the neurovascular structures. Now let's go back to the question to avoid damage. It's important to avoid passing the needle immediately below the rib to avoid damage to which of the following intercostal structures. Evidently now from the description that it's to avoid damage to all these structures. It's not only the nerve, not the nerve and artery, not the nerve and vein. It's the vein, artery and nerve. The three of them are likely to be damaged here.